So now you can see here. Ashish, can you see? Yes. So again, it's coming. This again. One minute, one minute. Mm -hmm. One minute. Insert. Pilot is fine. I'm not able to write on it. Draw. Yes, now I can do it. Yes. So now we can see we have tangents, limits, derivative functions, rules for differentiation, stationary points, areas under curves, integration, and definite integrals. So about everything we'll do little in two or three classes we'll complete this entire concept. So first we'll see tangents limit derivative function rules for differentiation. I think till here I have taught last time. Did you remember anything? Uh, okay. So fine. So we we'll start from the example one. Yeah. See here. I'll just explain this tangent one. They will not ask much, but you should know the concept. What is tangent? So now see Rasesh, which I am drawing the black color in this curve. This is the curve. Can you see this curve? So the curve. This is curve. Okay. What is tangent? This is tangent. Touching the curve at one point. Where it is touching, you know, here, here, I did cross mark. Can you see? Means it is called tangent. So you just have an idea that for this tangent, uh, how what is called tangent means if a line touches the curve at a point, it is called tangent, and we can find the slope gradient of the tangent. Gradient. Gradient means tangent ka slope kitna hai. So how are we doing? You can see here. Uh, we draw an accurate graph y is equal to x square. Can you draw a graph of y is equal to x square? By substituting x value, you will get y value. Substituting x value, you will get y value. Can you draw? Uh, yeah. And after drawing, he is saying in the question tangent is at 1, 1. So passing through 1, 1, touching at 1, 1, you can draw one line, right? Okay. And after drawing, we draw a right angle triangle using the point 1, 1 and an and an x step of 1 and y step of 2. So this is very important. x step of 1 means from 1, 1 we shifted 1 point and y step of 2 means we shifted here above in y axis 2 point. It became a right angle triangle, yes? So about this now he has given here only actually. Uh, so gradient how are we doing so now gradient how much we got so formula is actually gradient formula I will write for you m m is equal to tan theta tan theta formula is opposite by adjacent so in this right angle triangle m suppose this is the theta here is the angle theta what is opposite to and what is adjacent 2 by 1. So, answer is 2. M is called gradient. M is called gradient or slope. Okay, na? So, this, this much idea is there. It is enough because I don't think many questions will come from this. But you should know what is tangent. You should know how to find gradient. And uh, you know, tangent of formula is opposite by adjacent. And if you know the value, you can find the gradient. Okay? Okay, so now in the first concept tangent, uh, so this is actually before, this coming later. Now to find the same gradient, just now, we can find the gradient by using limits also. Sir, how sir? Now see, 
first we will see what is limit how to find the limit it is example 2 i am not seeing example 2 where is example 2 i think that photo did not come okay fine so okay fine so example 3 so now now you have seen to find a uh, gradient with the help of tangent we have done x step as 1 and y step as 2 we made a right angle triangle and we found gradient is equal to tan theta opposite by adjacent 2 by 1 answer is 2 okay na now with the limits how to do it so lim means limit how we'll read it as limit x tends to 2 x tends this implies is called as tend t e n d s tends limit x tends to 2 x cube minus 1 means in place of x you should substitute 2 and when you substitute in place of x as 2 you should not write limit so how sir if you write 2 i'll stop writing limit and directly i can substitute 2 so 2 cube minus 1 is 7 here here if i substitute in b with x as 0 it, i'll get answer as infinity so what i should do denominator x should get cancel eliminated so how it will be eliminated we should think i can take x common from the numerator So if I take x common, I'll get x minus one. X and x get cancelled. Now in place of x, if I write zero, when I substitute the value as zero, that time onwards I should stop writing limit. I did not substitute here. I did not substitute here. X value as zero. I'm just solving, simplifying. So I'll write every step limit x tends to zero. Limit x tends to zero. The moment I substitute the value zero in place of x. So zero minus one, I got minus one. So limit of this value is minus one. We'll do one sum. We'll see. see. Oh, example two came here. Okay. आगे पीछे हो गया शत्रु पर ठीक है. तो इसमें क्या बोल रहा है? एक quadratic theory बोल रहा है. हमने वो tangent का देख के देखा. फिर एक limit से हम देखेंगे अभी gradient कैसे ढूंढना. ये ये quadratic theory बोल रहा है. You can try this if you want. What is that theory? You just see quadratic theory. This equation is given y is equal to x square. Okay, right, Rasesh. And uh, suppose he is telling tangent equation. Let it be. Suppose means let example. Let y is equal to m x plus k. Okay. So this is the curve. This is the tangent. Both are equal to y only, na? So we can equate. You will get x square is equal to m x plus k. M X and K will come left hand side. When it comes, now it is a quadratic. Yes, quadratic in X. Yes or no? Yes. So what is A? A is one. B is minus M. C is minus K. Okay, na? So the quadratic equation must have one solution as the tangent touches the curve. One solution means roots or value should be equal one solution means it should be equal equal means delta should be equal to zero what is delta you know delta means discriminant discriminant means b square minus 4ac is equal to zero okay na ha yeah. discriminant therefore delta equal to zero why have we are telling actually quadratic equation means how many solutions you will get actually two but it touches it touches it means tangent touches the curve means so it has only one solution means you will get two values but the both the values will be same means like that so only solution possible whenever you do quadratic theory suppose in question he asked use quadratic theory to find the gradient so you write y is equal to mx plus k equate it and then find a b c value and then you write There is only one solution, and that is x is equal to minus b by two a. Okay, na? This is a quadratic theory uh, formula. You can just consider, like you can see above. You can see here uh, what he is saying. Uh, yes, quadratic function will be of this form. 
actually na this is another chapter then you should know that also means what you should know you, it is very clear to you that quadratic equation means two solutions will be there but if it is becoming tangent then it has only one solution and that one solution value will be in quadratic equation will be minus b by 2a so minus b by 2a okay so uh, can you tell what is b ah uh, and what is a 1 yes and what is x can you say point is 1 comma 1 so x is 1 y is 1 so what is x 1 so by substituting you got m value m means gradient so by quadratic theory also we got two by the tangent theory we did a right angle triangle by step 1 x as step 1 y as step 2 y is equal to x square and point 1 comma 1 in that uh, concept also we got gradient how much 2 and by quadratic theory also how much gradient we got rasesh question is same y is equal to x square is the curve and point is 1 comma 1 now we did it by quadratic theory and we got gradient as 2 first when i discussed with you it was a tangent and we made a right angle triangle and by that also same question for the same question we got gradient as 2 so we did two methods same question but gradient answer is and we will do i'll teach you now another method now another method by uh, two more methods are there limit and differentiation same question i will do it for you on the right hand side see what is differentiation you know rule of differentiation differentiation means d by dx differentiation of y of y but what is y d by dx means differentiation with respect to x d by dx means d means differentiation dx means differentiation we are doing with respect to x but what is y value x square so one formula is there i am just writing down here you can note down d by dx of x power n formula is n into x power n minus 1 okay na so can you tell by the formula what will be the formula of x power 2 d by dx of x power n is n into x power n minus 1 so d by dx of x square will be 2 into compare this formula with this 2 into rasesh d by dx of x power x power 1 correct very good so 2x means and differentiation may d by dx of y if you do that is called gradient that is called so what is gradient can you tell me d by dx of y i did y i did and what answer i got but what is the value of x from the question what is the value of x so 2 into 1 2 into 1 so we did tangent method we did quadratic theory method we did differentiation method this is differentiation rules of differentiation by this formula we got x square differentiation as 2x and we substituted x value for this differentiation method we don't need any graph we don't need any tangent we can directly find the gradient did you understand yes so one minute uh y is equal to x square yeah so this is how we have done for tangent we have done for quadratic theory with differentiation one question only we did by three methods and all the three methods m m means gradient answer is how much 2 so this is how everything is there so 25c so now uh, what happened examples are pages are coming up and down this is which page number
Here is example four. Yeah, this is example four. Okay. Can you see the example four? Yes. Okay. Now he got answer as four. I will do this question with the differentiation method. You know, d by dx of y means means d by dx of y. Y means your question is x square. So by the formula, you know, two into x power one, right? But what is the value of x in the question given question? So two to the yes. He did by limit method gradient answer. He also got four. We did by differentiation method. We also got gradient. D by dx means gradient. Differentiation also we can find gradient. By limit method we can find gradient. By quadratic theory we can find gradient. By tangent theory also we can find gradient. So there are how many methods of to find gradient? Four. All the answers will be same. Yes. So now we'll see how he did this example four. Find the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point two comma four. That much only he gave. But he is doing with limit. How to do, sir? He did with limit. He did not do with tangent. He did not do with quadratic theory. If you want to do with quadratic theory, also you can do. Can you tell me quadratic theory? Y is equal to x square. And y is equal to m x plus k. Yes. Then we should equate x square is equal to m x plus k. So x square minus m x minus k equal to zero. But for quadratic, it has only one solution. X is equal to minus b by two a. What is b minus m? What is a is one. What is x value? Can you tell fast? Two. Two is equal to m by two. So two to the four. What is m? So by quadratic theory, I got four. By differentiation, I got four. Yes. yes. By tangent also, I can find. Yes. By tangent also, I can find, and uh, I will get uh, mostly tangent. Now he will not give, but if he gives also, we can find. But we can find with very easily with quadratic theory. We can find easily with differentiation. We can find with limits also. Now we'll see how to find with limits. What he has done. Okay. Shall we start? Ah, uh -huh. one minute. Okay. One minute. Okay, we will not see that. We will solve our own. What is the question? Okay, I will teach you. Hmm. So I am doing it here. Can you see? Limit h tends to zero f of x plus h minus f of x by h. This is the formula to find the limit with uh, sorry to find the gradient with the help of which method? Yes. So what was the question? Can you tell me y is equal to x square? What was the point? Can you tell me two comma? Okay, so now what I will do? Can you tell me what is the value of x? Two. So now complete the question. L I M limit h tends to zero. F of two plus h minus f of two by h. Okay, na? Can you tell me what is f of two value? This is y means f of x. F of x can also be called as y, and it can be also called as f of x. So f of x is x square. So what is f of two? Can you tell me fast? Yeah, two square means four. Can you tell me what is the value of f of two plus h? Two plus h. So in place of two plus h whole square. So what will be the value? Four plus h square. Four h. Okay, na? 
so now i'll substitute here limit h tends to 0 i got f of 2 plus h value as 4 plus h square plus 4h minus f of 2 value as 4 by h 4 4 What a four four cancel na? Yeah. So h I can take common. So h plus four by h h h cancel. Okay. Yeah. Now in place of h I'll substitute value as zero. So I'll stop writing limit. So zero plus four answer is answer is. So what is the gradient? So how many methods we saw for this sum? Huh? For this sum, I have explained how many method. One. This is which method? And we did with uh, quadratic theory method also. We got four. Yeah. We did with the differentiation method also. We got four. Yeah. So for this sum, I showed you three method, right? Yeah. Tangent method I did not show. Yeah. Did I show? No. So. With tangent method also, if you do, you will get four. But he did not ask for this question, so no need. So, but I'm what I'm telling is, this is the formula actually. F dash x is equal to. What is F dash x, sir? F dash x means gradient. M ko kya kya naam se bolte dekho. M slope. M means slope. Usko hi gradient bolte. Gradient. Usi ko F dash x bolte. Usi ko dy by dx bolte. dy by dx का मतलब क्या सर d by dx of y any differentiation of y if you do that is nothing but gradient that is called as dy by dx if you take instead of y you take it as f of x if you do differentiation of f of x then it will become f dash x dash means उसका differentiation हो चुका है so f dash x means he is asking you to find gradient and f dash x का formula ऐसा लिमिट्स में ये भी ले सकते हैं लिमिट है अभी तुम्हारा पूरा हो गया ऑलमोस्ट एक मिनट अभी तुम फोर्थ के फिफ्थ एग्जाम्पल किधर है भाई पेजेस आगे पीछे हो गया पूरा फिफ्थ एग्जाम्पल हाँ यस आई थिंक यू कैन डू फॉर दिस वॉट इज आस्किंग कैन यू रीड डेरीवेटिव मीन्स एफ डैश एक्स वॉट इज आस्किंग अरे नो बाबा एफ ऑफ एक्स का डेरीवेटिव फंक्शन मीन्स इज आस्किंग एफ डैश एक्स Repeat. Means what we need to find f dash x. Yeah. So what is f dash x formula? Just now I showed. Uh, uh, f f of x plus. Limit. X. No, no. Limit h tends to zero. Can you find f of x plus h by substituting here and solving? You will get this answer. Okay, na? Yeah. Okay. So now sixth example. F of x is x power four. Can you find f dash x? Yeah. Formula you know? Yeah. Be bit. F dash minus one is asking. Means if you get f dash x answer in x, so in place of x, if you substitute minus one, you will get f dash minus one. So example sixth का solution किधर गया? ये रहा है, yeah, yes. So he did that expansion x plus h whole power four minus. So we got four x cube. So a b you got f dash x answer as four x cube. But B bit is asking f dash minus one. So in place of x, if you write minus one, you got minus four. 
means gradient is minus 4. What f dash? Like f dash of minus one is equal to one. Of minus one is equal to three. भाई ये f dash x है कि नहीं है? प्रशिष्ट f dash x value वो how much you got? In place of x you write minus one. Minus one means in place of x means the point is one comma something one comma two three four whatever y. So point x value is minus one. So uh, f dash x is four x cube. So if x is one, so gradient is minus four. If x is some other number, gradient will be something else. So ये हो गया. लिमिट से करने का कॉन्सेप्ट अभी लिमिट के बाद वन मिनट ये डेरिवेटिव फंक्शन विच आई वाज एक्सप्लेनिंग एक्स पावर एंड फॉर्मूला जस्ट नाउ आई एक्सप्लेन राइट डिड यू रिमेंबर एक्स पावर एंड फॉर्मूला कैन यू रिपीट नहीं अभी इसमें एक्स पावर एंड फॉर्मूला नहीं यूज करना इसको उसी के करना है कैसा करना है अभी एग्जाम्पल में देखे ना वैसे ही करना वन इज लाइक वी कैन डू विथ फॉर्मूला डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूला विच इज देर इन नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज रूल्स ऑफ डिफ्रेंसिएशन बट इज ऑल्सो आस्किंग यूर यूज द रूल्स ऑफ डिफ्रेंसिएशन ओनली ना ये क्या है ना आगे पीछे पेजेस हो गए क्या प्रिंट आउट में पी डी एफ में हाँ रूल्स फॉर डिफ्रेंसिएशन इज हियर ओके फाइन यस सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला Can you see which I have just dictated? I am underlining here. Can you read it out loudly? Uh, n, 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 x to the power no, not n x. You should read n into n into x to the power of n minus one is f dash x. But for this question, is f of x? What is the f of x question? X power n. If f of x is x power n, repeat. If f of x is x power n, then f dash x is equal to n into x power n minus one. So can you tell me if f of x is x power nine? If f of x is x power nine. Can you tell me what will be f dash x first by using the above formula first? Very good, excellent. So this is called gradient, but we got gradient answer in x. But if in the question x value is given, substitute x value, you will get gradient answer in value. Okay? If he has not given x value. You will get f dash x means derivative or gradient in x only. So now see what is x cube derivative first by the above formula first. Yes. So see in the question, this is question, this is f dash x. So x cube ka differentiation is three x square. Two x square ka differentiation. 2x square का means 2 you should not take x square का कितना है बोलो fast ए x square का 2 नीचे आएगा ना 2x कितना and 2 is already there 2 into 2x so it became 4x okay ना And three is there. Don't touch three. What is the derivative of x? X means x power one. By using the formula, if x power n's differentiation is one only, you use the formula. You'll come to know because x power one means I'll show you. See, x power one differentiation is one into x power one minus one. So x power zero is one. So answer is one. So derivative of x is so three into one. And constant ka derivative means x power zero is there. X power Yeah, always no need to do it. 
he has already given here formula can you see i um, uh, have done tick mark constant constant is the question uska derivative answer is how much so here 4 is constant uska derivative direct kitna likh do so what is the final f dash x answer yes now see the b bit root x is there in denominator so we wrote as x power 1 by 2 now x power 1 by 2 we are separating uh, denominator below this numerator and this numerator separately so x by x power 1 by 2 will become how much hey exponents chapter 7th 8th class x power 1 by x power 1 by 2 faces same subtract powers so x power 1 minus 1 by 2 so x power how much Yes. So x power one by two. What he did here? He separated x power one by two below x also and below four also separately. So x by x power one by two became x power one by two. Okay, na? Yeah. And four by x power one by two became four into x power minus one by two. Okay, na? Yeah. And now we have started differentiation f dash x. Till now the question was only there. We did simplification. Now we are doing f dash x. X power n formula. X power one by two formula. What is the differentiation? Yeah, n minus one. Yeah, ne one by two minus one is minus half. Okay, na? Yeah. And about what about this differentiation? Four will be like that only. X power n, x power n differentiation. Yeah, ne minus one by two into x power minus one by two minus one. Yeah, ne minus three by two. Is it clear or should I do? Okay. So now. Consider the curve and graph and uh, gradient. No need to see the graph. You have the question. F of x is root x. Root x means x power one by two. You know f dash x. How to find? Yes or no? And he is asking you to find at value of one. So in place of f x, you can write one. And you got the slope also one by two. Yes. And b bit. What is he telling? At which the tangent has gradient. Now in this b bit he gave twisted question. Gradient answer he gave. Now he is asking you the point. Find the point. Point means x and y value. Are you understanding? He is asking reverse question. So gradient is one by four means f dash x is one by four. Yes or no? Yes. But what is f dash x in the question? What is f dash x? Yeah, two root x. So by solving it, you got x four. Yes. If x is four, but the f of x is called as y. I told you before also, f of x is only called as y. So point he is asking in the b bit to find the point. Point means you should find x and y both. You got x, but you did not get y. But what is y? Is f of x. F of x is the quotient. Quotient means root x. So x you got as four. So root four is two. So y is how much? So what is the point? Yes. So we have completed almost half of the chapter. So please do it. And any doubts, I will clear it in the next class. And the other questions. Uh, now this also you can do. Um, F dash x too you can do now because you got the formula right. Or we will do one more sum with you. What is the x cube differentiation? Fada fad. Yeah, minus will be like that. You don't touch minus, okay, na? Three. Now three, you should not touch. What is differentiation of x square? Ah, huh? x square. X square differentiation. X square by x square. X power n ka formula is n into x power n minus one. So x square ka formula two into x power two minus one. So how much? Are how to six x? D by d x of x square how much? Two into x power two minus one. Can it two x? D by d x of x square how much? How much? 
d by dx of x square is how much? Yes. So x square differentiation I asked. Why are you telling 6x? X square differentiation is 2x. But in multiplication there is 3 also. So 3 into 2x will become. Did you understand? What is the differentiation of x? 1. What is the differentiation of x? 1. In previous sum we did now x to differentiation is 1. x differentiation is how much? How? Same formula by d by dx of x power 1. x means x power 1. So 1 into x power 1 minus 1. So 1 into x power 0. x power 0 is 1. So answer is 1. So d by dx of x is how much? But minus 3 into 1 gives you. And differentiation of constant is how much? So no need to write. Did you understand? So differentiation part you got it. So in starting I have just told you there are four uh, eight contents. So from eight contents uh, we completed uh, four contents. This is the uh, eight contents. You can see here tangents. We have seen how to find gradient. Limits we have seen. Derivative function we have seen. Rules for der differentiations. So till D you can easily do it and E, F, G, H we will do it in another class. One class or two class. It depends. Okay now? Yeah. So till now whatever we have committed please work on it. Do first all examples which are I taught. Note it down then try example exercise sums. Okay? Okay bye. Uh, Rasesh. Yes.